Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's so crazy because I was just doing a reading for my cell phone. It was I was reading, yo. I had to been like 20 minutes in. I go look at it. It stopped recording like 10 minutes in. Woo sigh, y'all. Okay, so I'm I'm recording from my laptop right now, y'all. I'm gonna have to start all over because I hate when that happens. I just I can't pick up my groove. So and I mean I was getting it, y'all. I was getting it, getting it, okay. But however, y'all, my name is Ayoka for all of my new um viewers. What's good, y'all? Alright, so I'm I'm trying to use this new deck, okay, that I just got. <laughs> I really like it. Um it's the dark god goddess oracle cards okay so um i do gotta read from the book but i mean the meanings are definitely awesome okay but however y'all however uh, my disclaimer make sure you take only what you need you leave the rest okay use the spirit of discernment as you are viewing this video flip the roles as you see fit please do not force anything to fit if it doesn't do not force it, okay? All right, so I'm picking up on everybody's energy. This is collective. Um, we all are on different timelines. I may be speaking of past, present, or future energies for any one of you. Now, I'm going to say my um, intentions before I get started, okay? So thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guys, for helping me with this collective reading. Thank you for protecting us as we go through these spiritual gates to commune with you. I ask that you close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. I thank you so much for using me as the messenger and helping me to deliver messages to the highest good of my collective and everyone involved in their stories. Thank you, and so it is. Okay, so let's see. Thank you. Show me what I need to see here. Empowerment. This is one of the first cards that came out, okay? Let me tell y'all. <laughs> I've done this at least three times already. Okay, so this is the first one of the first cards I did from the first video. And it's about empowerment, um, feeling empowered. Mayat came out too. So I kind of can probably pull this message together. But however, let me read here from the book. Because this is new to you. But with uh okay, next minute. Come on now. So it says here, you are quite the rebel, aren't you? Often going against the grain, you push through the, the other people's boundaries without knowing what the effect will be. You have been a fighter all your life, facing up to life challenges and overcoming other people's prejudice directed at you. You stand strong in your beliefs regardless of other people's thoughts and feelings. You always rise in opposition against those who are in power for all the wrong reasons. Sekhmet calls to you to see the truth from all perspectives. You are forced to be reckoned with as you fierce, fearlessly rise up to state your mind. Rebellion needs to be controlled and not forced at the cost of hurting others or seeking revenge from past hurt. This is your time to empower yourself and to assist others. Become a rebel with a cause. For you have been called to help others who have gone through similar situations and to learn from the mistakes you may, you may have made. So stop being a rebel for the sake of it. Speak your truth lovingly. Try to see both sides of any situation. Draw upon your past experiences to grow stronger. Call upon the strength of Sekhmet to truly stand in your power. Disregard any minor agitations and shine your light. So you're being called to shine your light, y'all. Okay? over your situations you may have a nuisance in your life here that may try to agitate the hell out of you but they do it because of um you know how it's like i guess you would say despair <laughs> is the word it's like it's it's this feeling of um their lack of self-awareness or lack of self-love um is what i'm hearing for themselves and it's like it's habit it's like they're searching for something here and um yeah, the energy that I'm pulling from that person is definitely, it's not a good one. But because of who you are and what you're called to be, um, regardless, even if it's, if it's, you know, not just one particular person and it's collectively a, quite a few people here, you're still called to stand in your power and to shine your light, okay? Because you're here to help other people to ascend, all right? So I can see that my light is doing, look, <laughs> you see how the light just got brighter, shine your light, okay? That's what I'm called to do, to shine my light as well, okay? So let me step back, but tell me about the empowerment card, <laughs> Let's 
see how I can get this to, okay? So the King of Wands came out. But basically here, um, you got a clear vision of what you want for yourself, right? It requires you, of course, to stay passionate because it's a goal of yours and you want to be able to overcome it. But, you know, not overcome it, but you want to be able to accomplish it. So um, in that being, you do have challenges too as well. Hopefully that's good. All right. So, but you do have challenges as well. And it's requiring you to make certain decisions. Okay. Um, with the seven of cups coming out. All right. Be careful because when you got a lot of options, you can tend to be um, prone to some type of illusions. But what I'm seeing here is that, um, even though you have all of these options and it's like, okay, I can choose to go about it this way. I can go about it that way. I can do that. that, that, that. It's like, somebody's making a decision here to face the truth right with the ace of eight of swords in the reverse position somebody is making a decision here to find the solutions to face their fears look king of wands coming out masculine energy it's like hey i gotta face this head on because it's going to require me a clear mind to be able to keep functioning to, to to pursue my goals to achieve those goals okay so i do feel like somebody definitely was feeling restricted here because of um, a situation look the tower card came out okay so something definitely is changing a lot of things are changing a lot of things are ending okay in your life or in someone's life connected to you it, it's it's towers all right and they may be bringing chaos but it's coming to shift your perspective or to get you out of that stuck energy okay so let's see tell me about the towers you're supposed to be learning from everything that you're experiencing here so that you can begin to help other people with their um, their situations. You know, I, and what I just heard, it's like it's going to be people that will be coming to you. It's like they're going to be your collective is what I'm hearing. I, I don't know. It's just like how I have a collective of people, right? So you guys who are drawn to my channel, you are my collective. You were drawn to me for a reason, right? Um, even if it was just like, oh, the title of the video just sound, you know, like something I would be interested in. But it, you were still drawn to me for a reason because we have like stories or um, we're on the same timeline to some degree or I may have already experienced what you're going through now and I'm here to guide you and to help you, okay? So, and the reason why the towers are coming is again to shift your perspective to help you to start to reflect because there's something here that could be causing you to lack some type of self-awareness or have some type of self-doubt with the judgment card coming in the reverse position okay so that's why the tower is happening it's, it's because this is a period of awakening so whether again if this isn't you you know this person that you're connected to here um they are going through this period of awakening now and 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 going through these tower moments because it has to be some type of adjustments being made. Yeah, because when it comes to this journey and being determined, somebody gets very slow to um, to doing it. You know, it's like something here that keeps here with the page of cups in the reverse next to um, the chariot in the upright position. It's something here that may keep you or this person being very slow to, to making certain changes in their life. Why? Because of the endings the tower moments, the disaster, the chaos, you get me? And um, yeah, I, I feel and I sense like, you know, they have a lot of ideas. They wanna try new things, okay? They have, a, you know, a whole new perspective about, you know, how to do things. Even when it comes to a person, I'm hearing that they have a newfound a, a appreciation for you, okay? But it's happening because it's so many little mini tower moments that are happening in um in your life or in this person's life okay so i don't know you know who who i'm speaking directly to i know i do have uh men who view and women so yeah but overall what was coming to me is that one of the cards that came out in the previous reading i look i had to look at the time i'm like please say it's still going okay was kali and let me pull her out so basically she's the goddess of destruction all right and the same thing as the tower the same thing as the storm warning right and with that it says here turmoil upheaval disorder and confusion have been your companion for a while so don't be alarmed when kali the destroyer enters your life 
for she has appeared for good reasons. Something is about to end for you. And as you look through the eyes of Kali, the illusory self-centered view of your reality adjusts, for she brings death to the ego. She has orchestrated all that has been occurring for you lately and affirms that in order to bring some, in something new, the old must be destroyed. Kali urges you to let go as you allow yourself to accept the end of certain situations or relationships. When you understand the cycle of life, of birth, death, and rebirth, the fear of change shall be no more. Change is simply a transition that is needed to escalate you further. As you allow Kali to safely escort you through any chaos and destruction, you can be assured that the ending is just the beginning, right? And that's what's happening. It's like everything that's taking place is because someone is afraid. They're fearful of change. And it has to happen. In order for you to evolve, you got to go through the changes, right? So let me see something. <clears throat> Don't give up. Keep going. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Everything happens for a reason. Release the old so the new can enter in. Walk away from harsh energies. A new relationship is waiting in the wings. Remember that everything is divinely timed. That's what's happening. It's, it's literally, it's, it's something new that has to come in and it has to do with a relationship. And someone is not releasing their old life, their old self. This is requiring the death of the ego. This has to be a very important connection. Let's just put it that way. Okay. So tell us more here about what's new that's entering in to my collective's life. What is new that's trying to enter into my collective's life? So the Ten of Wands is in the reverse. Basically what I'm hearing is that um, you or this person may feel very burdened, have a lot of responsibilities. And so... And there's been a lot of misunderstandings, especially when it comes to love. Okay, this is where the stagnancy comes in. Okay, and basically what I'm hearing here is that because it seems to be another responsibility, this is why there's delays in it, right? This is why someone is really like really trying not to, it's, it's a fear of change, really trying not to embrace um, this new beginning here is what I'm hearing. With the Nine of Pentacles coming out and the Ten of Cups in the reverse, it's like because of those endings, from the past relationships or whatever may have happened, someone is choosing to stay here in that Nine of Pentacles energy, which isn't bad because, you know, this is someone that's single, but this is someone who's self-sufficient, who, you know, can handle their own stuff on their own. It's like they prefer to be able to, you know, just do things by themselves, but still want the connections. But again, what I'm saying, because even when you look at this woman, she's looking back like, I'm still missing something. I only got nine pinnacles. I need ten, right? Ten is what gives you your legacy. Like the ten of cups here is what gives you the emotional fulfillment. The ten of pinnacles is what gives you everything. That emotional fulfillment, the love, the family, the power couple type energy. And that's what's happening. I feel like both of you are single. Both of you are building your self-sufficiency, becoming confident, overcoming your challenges. But there's still something that's missing. And you both can sense it and feel it. But but because of the fear of changing, okay, that mindset or that emotional pattern here, that's where the disconnect comes in at with this Ten of Cups in the reverse. Somebody feels very disconnected here and struggling to communicate their truth, not really being true to their, their true values when it comes to love, okay? Um, so whatever it is that you really value when it comes to relationships, when it comes to love, you got to stand true to that. You got to speak your truth. It, it, regardless, if someone is not in alignment with what it is that you desire for yourself, then it's okay. You understand? Everybody has their own path. Only thing that you can do is continue to what? Move forward and to go after what it is that you truly desire for yourself, right? Um, or however, you know, we got free will. It's so weird what's happening here with this light. It don't never usually do that, y'all. But let me see. Try to see how I can get it some kind of way. It don't never, this is weird. So it still got a little weird glow on it, but <laughs> hopefully it's not too dark. I know, like I look like a little light bright. <laughs> this is what I need to see. You don't need to see my face. You just need to see the cards, right?
And because you or this person here is afraid to take the rest, they do it slowly with the Knight of Pentacles, okay? They move slow as hell. They more focus on creating stability and um, comfortability for their lifestyle. And like long term, they still they still think about the commitment and things like that. But it's like about the now, okay? And because of their lack of uh, judgment with the judgment card in the reverse position, this is what causes again that where they won't be determined. Okay, it's like that determination is not there. They feel like they have very little direction here when it comes to that area, okay? Whatever it is that's new trying to come in, and now, like I said, again, it feels heavily like it's based on a relationship or love, okay? So um, I'm going to pull here real quick. Tell me about what's new that's trying to come in. It's some deception, and then that's where I still feel like someone's wearing a mask, okay? That's where the deception is coming in. Not truly, fully um, speaking their truth, expressing what they really feel. Let me look up Medea. I think that's what it says. So, oh, what a tangled web we weave. When we fir when first we practice to deceive, Sir Walter Scott's words should sound a little chilling now. All may look calm and serene from where you are standing, but wait till the truth comes out, and it will. For then it will be too late for clever words, trickery, or playing the blame game. No one is immune to telling the odd fib or two, however, when a life is built on deception and fabrication, well, that's another thing entirely. You must be honest with yourself first and foremost, and then look to unravel the web and face the music. Medea comes to you now as a warning, her back turned to you to hide her grief, her shame, and horror of what a life built on, half-truths, and smoke and mirrors has led to. Do you really want to run the risk of being left isolated? forever staring into the abyss at what might have been? You are having the wool pulled over your eyes. Honesty will be the best policy when applying for a new job, or that could be a case, or when it comes to a relationship. Speak up even if you think you are alone and others will support you. Be thorough with paperwork. Sign nothing until you are absolutely sure. Okay, you guys? But however, yeah, and what I feel like is it's not... It's self-deceit. <laughs> but it would be deception for everyone involved because when you're hiding your mask or hiding behind um, the grief and, and the pain and the hurt and refusing to show um, who you truly are, you could be forever staring in an abyss <laughs> of what might have been. It's on the face of the mirror. Tell me more here about Medea. Yeah, it's time to release um, what no longer serves you, is what I'm seeing. What's the truth that should be revealed? Mm -hmm. Someone is literally rebelling a bit against following a certain process or committing of some sort here because of holding on too tightly to what doesn't serve them. The codependencies, okay? Because the Queen of Cups can be very codependent. Um, it could be a, a, a person, something from the past. You know, this person may have really, really caused um, you or, the, or your person here to be highly triggered all the time, even, in, even into this now, okay? So that is why, you know, hey, I don't want to commit because... The person I dealt with in the past, whew, it was a not a good situation. It's like, yeah, you're a whole lot like home. You make me happy, but you hear that? But but I really kind of fear it because I've dealt with some effed up people in my life, right? Um, six of Cups come out. Okay, so let's see. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Yeah, 
two of cups. It's like, damn, you make me happy. We got a strong bond, a strong connection. God damn. From this last situation, I was left with mad responsibilities, mad burden. Trust your intuition, period. Because you know how you got to trust what you know to be true. It's like when a person has all nine pinnacles and it's like, shit, they are nothing like these other people from my past. So this situation is nothing like that. Like, that's evident. It's like the worst is behind you, literally. Something has to come... Um, be released in order for you to be able to receive something new. That's just how the universe works. Look at that. The towers are falling. The towers are falling for this person. Okay? With the tower and the emperor in the reverse. Because now it's time for this person to rise up into that emperor energy. It's time for them to become more di disciplined, to become more structured, to become more um, goal, I guess, going after the actual goal. And what I'm hearing is like, this person really does want to be able to have um, an emotional connection with somebody that's long term, okay, relationship energy, all right, but right now they're lacking the structure or the discipline when it comes to that, because why living in a certain manner for so long, based off of those past experiences, it's an outdated way of living, thinking, um, and all, so that's why the storm has come in, that's why, let me see if I can find our card, Kali has come in. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm just seeing something in the book that I was trying to hold on to. Yeah, but however, mm -hmm. let me see something. I'm going to pull up on the energy real quick, y'all. And then I'll let y'all go. Okay, because we are 22 minutes in. What's the energy here for my collective? So whatever drama here that is going on around you, somebody is definitely thinking the all tied up card is in the reverse position. Okay, so some, somebody is really starting to see here like, shit, I feel oppressed, oppressed, right? Why? Because it may be my own emotional anxiety, right? It may be my own fear that's causing this drama. Okay, the thinking man in the upright position. Somebody's trying to gain some type of understanding here. Okay, so tell me about the drama that's being released. Mm -hmm. The chariot card is in the reverse position. Again, you or this person feel like powerless here. Like there's no, like they have very little direction when it comes to taking this leap of faith, taking any type of risk here. Okay, with the fool coming out and the justice card coming out. It's like, it has to happen, but, and I feel like this person knows, you know, with the thinking man coming out, it's like, yeah, it's going to require me to really take action and to stay determined here and to be ambitious here about what it is that I'm trying to achieve, which requires me to take a chance. Like everything requires you to take some degree of risk. Okay. In order for a decision to be fair or just, it's like, yeah, you got to make a decision that's fair or just. It cannot be something here that's one-sided. And I feel like this is everything I'm channeling somebody thinking about. And it's like, yeah, okay, Six of Cups energy upright. It's like, this situation is good. It's ideal. It makes me happy. I have very happy memories. This person makes me happy. You know, this person is like home to me. Okay, this is a major, this is what I see. It's like, this is a major major step for for someone when i look at this cup if this is you coming in you got this big old cup right and it's like look how big that cup is look at this person it's like a child okay you coming in offering this person this big ass cup you like look here this go i'm trying to give you all that your person here or you if you this masculine energy like oh shit like that's a huge ass cup, man. Like, <laughs> I want it. It's like, okay, I want it. I want it. I want it. But they're not really mature enough to handle all of that. Okay. But the emotional immaturity really comes from not dealing with the past. Okay. It's the past that's restricting them from being able to open up fully to love or to new people. Okay. But when it comes to you, it's like, mm -hmm, it's something here where they're seeing things differently. They become very guarded because it's like, they feel like they have to literally protect that. They have to protect their, um, 
themselves okay so that they, they can avoid repeating the past or having the same devastating endings okay is what i just heard yep with the higher font card coming out they guard it what is tell me about the thinking man Mm -hmm. The thinking man is trying to use some type of judgment. King of Pentacles next to the judgment. The thinking man is doing the self-reflecting. Thinking of, should I make adjustments here? <laughs> mm -hmm. Should I make adjustments here to connect here with my person? Or to partner here with this person? Should I allow this person in? I mean, we do share the same goals. We are kind of like one and the same. We do work well together. We do learn from each other. Mm -hmm. It's reciprocated. All of those things. It's like, wow. Mm -hmm. This person respects me. Where all these other people, man, they ain't respect me. It was a lack of respect. But this person, we worked well together as a team. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to express any of this. Page of Wands in the reverse. It's like it's all up in their head. Whoever this is, you are literally all up in your head with all of these ideas. Okay, but it's going to require you to, again, make a decision to a source came out. Look, make a goddamn decision, okay? Because you can cultivate this. You can manifest this. You got the willpower to do it. You know you got all the tools that you need right now. You will, I'm feeling like somebody is definitely learning about the laws of attraction and how to manifest their life, Okay. So the decision is to stay in alignment for the most part, to only to only see the possibilities, to stay excited here about the bigger picture, the goals, the outcomes, and, and, and not being stuck on the past, right? Not allowing ego to interfere because when ego interferes, it knocks us out of alignment. And then what? It messes with our manifestations of our prayers, right? So I'm really feeling like, yeah, the thought is someone's like, you know what? Maybe I can cultivate this. The higher part pops out again. Really thinking about, do I want to take that leap? This is like, you know, when two become one type energy. Do I want to really take this leap? Do I want to commit? Do I want to get in alignment here with the overall goal to create this bigger picture that I see, right? Collaborate. <laughs> Or do I prefer to work alone? Do I prefer to stay single? Hmm. That's interesting. Show me what I need to do. <laughs> the tower is going to fall until decisions are made until somebody gains the strength and the willpower. Okay. Wow. Strength card in the reverse. The Empress in the reverse. And what it seems like, it's like, yeah. Because somebody rises up and realizes their power. Because as the Empress, it's like you um create abundance. You attract abundance. You have all of the ideas and you manifest that. Okay? But with this, it's like when you're in the reverse, it's like you, you're insecure. You have this lack of self-awareness. And even here, it feels like somebody needs to have the strength to rise up against this feminine energy. If it isn't about you having this um, a lack of self-awareness, this could be about another person here who has been um, the thorn. Let's just say that in your ass or in your person's ass, okay? That has caused them to really not have the confidence or have that self-doubt when it comes to connecting or collaborating with other people, allowing new people to come in their life. Yeah, this person has, or the situation has been one that was very disappointing. I, I really feel like somebody been trying to fill some cups here with people who aren't supposed to be in their story, basically. We get all of the signs mm -hmm, about people, but sometimes, you know, a lack of self-awareness will cause us to really ignore the red flags, right? Eight of Pentacles comes in the upright position until somebody decides here that they're going to work on cultivating or work on their codependencies. 
trusting their intuition coming in with the Queen of Cups in the reverse and make a decision to release the unhealthy attachments. Wow. Again, whatever makes you feel oppressed or whatever makes them feel oppressed. It's like, and destruction sounds so much like a harsh word, right? Like, God, destruction. <laughs> but more like, <sighs> Chaos. It's not meant to scare you. It's just meant to change your um your perception. Mm -hmm. To help you make a decision. To help you to, to choose the right path. That's it. You're destined, or this person here, y'all together, I'm feeling somebody's destined to really do some major things. Okay. Definitely. But being stuck at a crossroads, it hinders your progress. So this is what I'm seeing with that. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. There's so many directions but that you can go, but it's like you got to get on the path. You got to get on path. Mm -hmm. Look at that. The path of love, baby. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Anything else, my spirit team? Yeah. All everything that has happened really makes you or, or um your person here feel emotionally withdrawn. That's it. They have withdrawn emotionally because there's so much conflict and so much um, negative energy, okay? And also, it makes them feel very defeated or it makes you feel that way. But this is a significant learning and, and um, change that's taking place, okay? So how you handle yourself, how you process all of this, how you um, really perceive this is vital to your overall well-being, period. There's calmer waters ahead of you. The worst is behind you, okay? And with all the lessons you have learned from these past experiences, yes, you're going to be put to the test. Have you grown up? Or are you going to keep repeating these cycles? Are you going to keep allowing your past to rule your now? Okay? That's something to think about, right? All right, y'all. So I'm going to get ready to go because I do want to do quite a few more readings before I have to take it to bed. I got to go to work tomorrow. I know. I usually don't teach on Tuesdays, but I don't know who signed me up for this. Probably me, and I did it not thinking, right? <laughs> but I do have to be there early in the morning on top of that, y'all. But I do thank you guys for tuning in. I really definitely appreciate you. Hit the like button, please. Peace. <laughs>